One of the neatest things about PowerShell, I think, is that you can play with all the different operators, including the comparison operators, right at the command line. It, it really just emphasizes the fact that this is a shell first and not a scripting language first. Of course, the first step is finding out what the comparison operators are, and this is a good time to practice your skills with the help system. Let's see, it looks for help with R, star, O P E R. That's the beginning of the word operator. So again, shorter keywords are a little bit better than longer when you're using these wildcards. So let's try that. Oh yeah, so the word property contains oper. So let's just stick an A in there. Oh, that shortened it down nicely. So we've got about arithmetic operators, assignment, ah, comparison. So help about comparison. That's probably enough to get it down to that one topic it was. So now we can look through and see what some of them are. Dash GE, dash LT, dash LE, uh, EQ, NE, they're all listed here. And we can play with them right at the command line. Is 5 greater than 100? No. Is 100 greater than or equal to 5? Yes. Uh, we can get complicated. Let's see, is 100 greater than 1 and is 1 less than 1000? Yes. So you get to play with all those operators and really see how they work. In fact, when you do get to the point where you're working with a script and if you're not getting the exact results you want, stop for a second, pull back down to the command line and just start with some basics. For example, you might wonder if you're specifying some filter criteria uh, to see if a service is stopped or started, for example. Well, you might wonder if you have to be case sensitive about that. And it turns out that the equality operator is case insensitive for strings. So started spell that right, is equal to started. So you don't have to worry about how you type it because by default that is case insensitive. If you needed to be case sensitive, the about comparison operators help topic would introduce you to the case sensitive version of that. So that tells us that started cased that way is not equal to started cased in that way. So this is a really, really great way to just kind of play with some of these different things, see them working right at the command line. You can also play with the math operators down here. Um, neat little trick, uh, PowerShell does recognize a megabyte, a kilobyte, a gigabyte, a terabyte, and I think even a petabyte, look at that. And those are all base two numbers. Uh, so it's 1024 for a kilobyte, and, and you can see how it goes on. So if you had some number and you wanted to see what it was in megabytes, you could do that little trick. Uh, so again, it's really neat that you can play with these on the command line.